Well, hello there, Akuma fans and fellow filmmakers. Today's tutorial is set to unveil a new dimension in cinematic AI filmmaking. We're all fans of the cinematic images Midjourney creates, but now there's an exciting development in the realm of AI-assisted video transformation, Leonardo.ai's Image 2 Motion. Though its controls might seem limited, Leonardo excels in producing smooth, cinematic camera moves. A real game-changer in animating stills. Huh. What? Why are you looking at me funny? Oh, you thought I was a real person. No, 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 I'm Jenny. I'm just an AI actress. Nice to meet you. Let's get back to the video. How do you bring images created outside of Leonardo, like those from Midjourney, into this platform to animate them? Well, that's exactly what we're going to tackle today, so stick around and I'll guide you through this innovative process. All right, so I'm going to assume you already have an account with Leonardo. So once you're logged in, head over to the Image Generation tool. Make sure to turn off Photo Reel and Alchemy. Click on Image Guidance. Set the mode to Leonardo Diffusion XL and leave the style as non. You don't necessarily need a prompt since our image weight will be set to maxima, but it's an option. Now, upload your mid-journey image or any other image you wish to animate. Once uploaded, ensure the mode is set to image to image and adjust the strength to maximum. Ensure the aspect ratio matches your input image. You can easily set this by clicking the set aspect ratio button. In advanced controls, Lock your aspect ratio and increase the resolution to its highest capacity. Set the number of images to one and hit generate. Your imported image will appear in the generation history. Yes, that's me there. Once it's ready, click on the generate motion video button. Currently, the only parameter you can adjust is the motion strength. I usually start with a value of three and adjust from there. After the video is ready, check it out. If you need more motion, increase the motion strength for your next try, or reduce it if it's too much. Each generation might yield a different result, so don't hesitate to try multiple times until you get the desired outcome. Remember, this tool has its limitations, but it's worth experimenting to understand its strengths and how it can fit into your production workflow. All right, that wraps up our tutorial. I hope this guide helps spark new ideas for your projects. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please drop a comment below. Did you enjoy this tutorial? Give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Your support enables us to keep creating cutting-edge content. So, thanks for watching. Keep experimenting, and keep creating. This is Jenny from Akuma Films, signing off. See you in the next video.